This is the Amex Platinum card that costs a whopping $695 per year and comes packed with dozens of features that could potentially outweigh that fee. And after using it for the past two and a half years myself, I've sort of learned all the ins and outs of how to make this card worth it by taking advantage of things like hidden bonus credits, discounts on gas, getting lower annual fees, higher signup bonuses, and much more. So I've gathered 15 of the best tips and secrets about the Amex Platinum card that I wanna cover here in this video, starting with the first one, which like I just mentioned, is potentially decreasing that big $695 annual fee. Now, there's three main ways to do this. So the first way is that you have to be an active duty member of the US military. And I've talked about this in other videos as well, but it's always good to mention that American Express will typically waive annual fees for its customers that are active duty, thanks to their interpretation of the Service Members Civil Relief Act and the Military Lending Act. So if you're in the military and you're considering the Amex Platinum card, then you should be able to take advantage of all the features on this card without paying paying that 695 fee. And if you already have the card, but you're still paying that fee, then make sure you reach out to American Express. That way you can see if they can waive that fee for you. Now, another way that anyone can potentially lower their annual fee on the Platinum card is just by asking for what's called a retention offer. So what happens here is that basically after you've had the card for at least one year and you see that you're getting charged for that big annual fee again on your next statement, what you can do is just chat with American Express customer service and say that you'd like to see if there's any retention offers available because you're thinking about closing that card. What they're gonna do is they're likely gonna transfer you over to someone from their retention department, and that's where they might ask you a few questions about how you're getting value from the card, and they might even point out a few of the benefits that you probably already know about. So just explain to them the reason why you could be considering closing the card, and what they might do is offer you some sort of a statement credit or some extra points if you decide to pay the 695 fee and keep the card open for another year. Basically, it costs them a lot of money to acquire a new customer, so they would rather pay you something to keep keep you as an existing customer if possible, but just be aware there's not always going to be retention offers available. So I would not rely on this as a guaranteed way to reduce your annual fee every year, but it never hurts to ask because the worst thing they can do is say no. Then a third way to also potentially lower your annual fee on the Amex Platinum card is if you already have a corporate Amex card. So if you go to the American Express website and click on cards at the top and then personal card annual credit, we can see that it says unlock a personal card annual credit of up to $150. And on this page, you can enter in your corporate card information to confirm if you're eligible. And if you are, then you might be able to get a recurring statement credit every single year on certain Amex cards. So for the Platinum card specifically, that credit would be for $150 per year. That effectively would bring down your net annual fee from $695 down to $545 per year. And I do wanna point out that on this page on the American Express website, it seems to say that this is a credit that's available only if you apply for a new card. But even if you already have the Platinum card and a corporate card, then I still think it's worth a shot to just go ahead and send a message over to American Express and ask them about this because I've seen plenty of people that have been able to get this credit applied to their account. So again, it never hurts to ask because the worst thing they can do is say no. Now, next here for the second tip, we got to talk about how to get the best signup bonus because unfortunately, I see too many people out there make the mistake of applying with a bad offer or missing out on a signup bonus entirely. So here's what you got to do. First of all, if you go directly to the American Express website, you might see a number of different offers depending on a bunch of factors. So as I was making this video, I was able to search around and find offers for 80,000 and 100,000 membership rewards points after spending $8,000 in your first six months with the Amex Platinum. And sometimes we've seen even higher offers in the past, but American Express recently made a few key changes that I'll talk about throughout this video. And one of those changes was a higher 8K minimum spend in six months, which is up from 6K. So just be aware of that higher minimum spend to get a sign up bonus. So what I would say here is do not click on the very first offer that you see for this card. Just be patient and do some research about what offers are out there and what other people are seeing. So watch some YouTube videos and read up over on Reddit or some credit card blogs. Once you know what the best public offers are right now, then you can go ahead and try to find those offers over on the Amex website directly, or you can check out the affiliate links of YouTubers or blogs, or even referral links from your friends if they have the card. And there's also a tool that's called Card Match, which you can check out, which sometimes could show you something good. So I'm gonna have a link to that down below in my link tree in the description to this video. Another website you could take a look at is Resi, which is actually owned by American Express, where if you go up to the top right corner and then click on exclusive US offers from Amex, you can usually find special deals like this one for 100,000 points plus 10X on restaurants worldwide for six months. And I am not affiliated with Resi in any way, but I just want you guys to find the very best offers out there that work for you. Now, I'll have some other links down below, including a link to a useful calculator that can actually help you decide if the 
Amex Platinum card is really worth it to you. And as always, those links are the best way to help support my channel. So thank you to all of you that use them. Also, a really quick bonus tip here, but if you do decide to get the Platinum card and you're working on a sign-up bonus, then I would set a reminder on your phone to go off about halfway through the time period you have to hit your minimum spend. So in other words, if you have six months to spend maybe $8,000, then set a reminder to go off after three months with the card. And then just message Amex within your account by using the chat feature to ask them exactly how much spending you have left to get your bonus, because otherwise there's really no direct way to track your progress and you do not wanna miss out on all those points. Now, next here for the third Amex Platinum card tip that also comes with a secret benefit is that you can use the $200 hotel credit to get money back for certain hotel stays if that credit is used the right way. So this hotel credit is only gonna work for select prepaid hotel bookings through Amex Travel when the Platinum card is used. And more specifically, those prepaid hotel bookings must be made at a property that's either a part of the hotel collection or the fine hotels and resorts program, which are two groups of hotels that American Express sort of handpicks as more premium properties where you get some extra benefits Benefits. And you can easily tell which hotels are part of these programs when you just search within Amex Travel because they're gonna be highlighted in either this blue or dark gray color. So basically, if you book at least a one night minimum stay for a fine hotels and resorts property or a two night minimum stay for the hotel collection, that'll trigger this credit and you're gonna get up to $200 back in total per calendar year. So depending on what city you're staying in and what the prices are for those hotels, that could give you a big discount or even potentially a free night if you find a really good deal. Now, the kind of secret benefit here on top of that $200 hotel credit is that when you book a stay through either one of these two Amex hotel programs, you're gonna get some really cool extras. So for example, with a two night minimum stay in the hotel collection booked with your Amex Platinum card, on top of getting up to $200 back per year, you get things like a room upgrade at check-in if available, plus a $100 credit that can be used on qualifying dining, spot, and resort activities on a certain property. If you book through the fine hotels and resorts program for a one night minimum stay, on top of getting up to $200 back per year, you're also gonna get things like a room upgrade if available, complimentary daily breakfast for two, $100 experience credit for use on the property, guaranteed 4 p.m. late checkout, and more. Now next, for the fourth tip I have for the Amex Platinum card, make sure to use the $240 $40 digital entertainment credit. And this is probably one of the easiest ways to lower your effective annual fee here, because if you're already paying for some of these subscriptions that are covered by this credit, then it's an easy $240 that you'll get back every single year in value. So all you gotta do here is just enroll in this credit on your benefits page. And then if you're already paying for things like Disney Plus, the Disney Bundle, ESPN Plus, Hulu, the New York Times, Peacock, Sirius XM, or the Wall Street Journal, just make your platinum card your payment method, and then you're gonna get up to $20 back per month for the subscriptions for a total of up to $240 back per year. And those $20 monthly credits are use it or lose it, so they do not roll over from month to month. Now, for me personally, I was using this credit for my Audible subscription, but unfortunately, another change that American Express just recently announced is that Audible is no longer going to be covered by this digital entertainment credit as of October 2nd, 2023. However, effective immediately, the Wall Street Journal is now a new service that is covered by this credit. So I'm sad to see Audible leave, but I definitely will still get value from some of those other services. Then for tip number five here, you can use the $155 Walmart Plus credit. And this credit also has a few additional secret benefits that you can unlock. So let me walk you through them. Now Walmart Plus costs $12.95 per month, but if you select your Amex Platinum card as your payment method, then you're gonna get a statement credit back for that full amount every single month for up to $155 back per year. And this subscription gets you things like free shipping from Walmart with no order minimums, as well as free same day delivery of groceries from those stores. So this could save you some money if you shop at Walmart a lot. But a couple of other features that now come along with a Walmart Plus membership are going to include Paramount Plus Essential for free, which normally would cost $5.99 per month. Plus, you also get a discount of 10 cents per gallon on gas at Exxon, Mobil, Walmart, and Murphy gas stations. So for some people that could save a little bit extra money on gas, as long as whatever they're charging for gas at those stations is competitive. Then for tip number six, one of the biggest benefits that you unlock by having the Amex Platinum card is the use of the American Express Global Lounge Collection and that's a huge group of over 1,400 airport lounges that includes Delta Sky Clubs, Priority Pass lounges, Escape lounges, as well as the famous Amex Centurion lounges. Now, there are some requirements for access to each one of these lounges. So for example, with Priority Pass, you have to enroll in this through the benefits page within your Amex Platinum Card account, and then you're gonna get a separate Priority Pass card that you will then have to provide to get into those lounges. For places like Delta Sky Clubs, you're gonna have to present your Platinum Card along with a same-day Delta boarding pass in order to get in. 
in. And then for the Amex Centurion lounges, you have to present your Amex Platinum card along with a same day boarding pass for a departing flight that leaves within the next three hours to get access there. Now, two things to note here about these Amex lounges are that first of all, they can get a little bit crowded at times with long lines to get in depending on what time of the day you're trying to go there. And second of all, for the Centurion lounges, you can no longer bring free guests because of some recent changes made by American Express to fight back against the overcrowding issues. So as of right now, it'll cost you $50 per person or $30 per child between the ages of two and 17 if you wanna bring a guest along with you. However, there is sort of a hidden way to get around this that my fiance and I have started to use that gets us into these lounges and avoids that $50 guest fee per visit. So that leads me to tip number seven, which is to add authorized user cards. Now, unfortunately, this tip is not as powerful as it used to be because American Express used to allow its platinum card holders to add up to three additional platinum cards as authorized users for a total of $175 per year. And being a platinum authorized user, it gives you things like complimentary airport lounge access to the global lounge collection, including Amex lounges. Plus you get a credit to cover the cost of TSA pre-check or global entry on every additional card. However, with the recent changes, now it costs $195 per additional platinum card to get those benefits. So you can't add up to three cards for 175 anymore, which might be a way for Amex to fight against overcrowding at their lounges, like I just mentioned. And for people that were getting three additional platinum cards to give their families lounge access while traveling, this is definitely bad news. Now, I added my fiance, Jackie, as another platinum card holder to my account because we're gonna go to the Centurion lounges together more than enough times to justify the extra cost. And for us, the price only goes up 20 bucks from 175 to 195 to have her as an additional platinum card. So it's not terrible. And then I also wanted to mention that if you are an active duty military member, like we talked about earlier in this video, then you should be able to get the $195 fee waived for additional platinum cards as well. Now, a bonus tip here is that you can also get additional companion cards as authorized users for no annual fee. This is actually sort of a rebranding by Amex to probably avoid confusion because these used to be called additional gold cards, even though they were not the same as the regular Amex gold card, which is a separate product from American Express. But these additional free companion cards under a primary platinum card account will still get access to a credit for TSA pre-check or global entry, but no airport lounge access. So they're pretty limited in terms of benefits, but still another option for you. Now for the next three tips here, we've got three credits that are also pretty easy for most people to use. So tip number eight is to use the $200 Uber credit. Tip number nine is to use the $200 airline credit. And tip number 10 is to use the $100 Saks Fifth Avenue credit. So for the Uber credit, what you gotta do here is actually add your Amex Platinum card to your Uber wallet as a payment method, which you can easily do from the inside of your Uber app. And then every single month, you're gonna get $15 of Uber cash deposited directly into your Uber account with the exception of December when you're actually going to get $35 of Uber cash. Now, like some other credits that are broken down month to month that we talked about before, like that digital entertainment credit, these are use it or lose it benefits. So that means if you do not use the $15 of Uber cash this month, that will not roll over to the next month and you're gonna lose it. So really you can't save these things up. Then for tip number nine, with the $200 airline incidental fee credit, you can activate this by selecting one airline each year where you can use the credit to get up to $200 back per year. And this is something that is mostly gonna be used for things like checked bags, in-flight entertainment, food or beverages and other stuff like that. So you actually cannot use the airline credit to cover the price of a ticket, gift cards, or even in-flight Wi-Fi, which is too bad. However, what you typically can also use this credit for are things like seat selection fees. So one way that I like to use this credit is by choosing a more premium seat in the same cabin after buying a basic economy ticket. That way I get more legroom on longer distance flights because I'm six foot four and sometimes I just need more room. And you can find some good data points for what actually does and does not trigger this credit by doing a quick Google search and then looking over on Reddit or some credit card blogs to hear what other people are saying. For tip number 10 with the $100 Saks Fifth Ave credit, I know this is gonna be something that I probably would not normally spend money on if I did not have the Amex Platinum card, but it's still a nice little bonus that you can take advantage of anyway. So from January to June and from July until December, you're gonna get a $50 credit for each one of the six month periods and you cannot roll those over from one period to the next. And all you have to do for this is just use your Platinum card when you pay at checkout on the Saks website or at a Saks Fifth Avenue store, and you're gonna get a statement credit back for that. Again, I view this as a bonus benefit to take advantage of because the stuff you buy from Saks Fifth Avenue is a little bit overpriced. And also make sure you actually enroll in this through your benefits page first before you actually try to use it because otherwise it won't work. Now, a bonus tip is there's also a $300 Equinox credit on the Amex Platinum card that gets you $25 back per month on things like an Equinox membership. So this is really only a useful credit for people that already pay for a membership like that. So if you belong to an Equinox and the Platinum card is sort of a no brainer, 
Center, but if you do not belong to Equinox, then you can pretty much just ignore this credit. Now for tip number 11 here, this is actually kind of a common thing that I see some people ignore, but make sure to use the Amex Platinum card only really for the 5X spending multipliers because the mistake that people make is they get this card and then they think about how cool it is and they wanna use it to pay for dinner or they wanna show their friends and family. But remember, this is just a credit card and it's not a status symbol. You actually only get one point per dollar on dining, groceries, and most other things. And the only areas of spending where it's really good would be for booking things like flights either directly with airlines or through Amex travel where you get 5X points per dollar or when booking prepaid hotels through Amex where you also get 5X points per dollar. Using the Amex Platinum card, mostly for those two things alone is gonna earn you the most points by the way this card works, but it's also gonna allow you to take advantage of the many other great travel protections and other insurance coverage on this card. And you might end up needing those things if travel gets canceled or delayed really badly. So use the Platinum card for travel and then use some of your other credit cards for everything else. Now, sometimes there might be certain Amex offers going on where it does make sense to use the Platinum card on a purchase at a specific store. And that's actually gonna be tip number 12, which is to activate and use Amex offers on the Platinum card. So I've talked about this in plenty of other videos, but I like to add these offers automatically anytime I log into my Amex account by using the card pointers extension, which adds all those offers for me. But even if you wanna add those offers manually, I definitely recommend you go ahead and check them out because they've been able to save me at least $100 every single year or more from my Amex Platinum card alone. Tip number 13 is also pretty straightforward. And I mentioned it before this video when I talked about the authorized user cards, but this tip is to use the airport security benefits. So that would be credits for clear, TSA pre-check and or global entry. All you gotta do is just pay for any one of those airport security services with your Platinum card. And then you're gonna get a statement credit to cover the cost of it. If you pay attention to and read the terms that Amex says. And if you're a frequent traveler, then you already know just how valuable it can be to get through security with so much less wasted time and much less stress. So these credits and benefits are great to have here with the Amex Platinum card. Then next, tip number 14 is something that might give you a little bit of extra value from time to time. So that tip is to enroll in status with select hotels and car rentals. Now with the Amex Platinum card, you're gonna be getting Marriott Bonvoy Gold Elite status and Hilton Honors Gold status, as well as car rental status with certain car rental companies like President Circle with Hertz. So all you gotta do here is activate and enroll in these statuses just by going over to your benefits page and then follow what Amex tells you to do and then you'll be all set. Now, neither one of those Marriott or Hilton statuses is going to be their top tier status, but they still might be able to give you select benefits like a food and beverage credit with Hilton, late checkouts, or even maybe the occasional room upgrade depending on availability. But then a status like President Circle with Hertz actually is their top tier status and that's gonna allow you to choose a vehicle from their President Circle section. And it also gets you upgrades, faster pickups and drop-offs and other stuff like that. So it's definitely worth enrolling in all these statuses from your benefits page on your Amex Platinum card account. And then tip number 15 is gonna be to redeem your Amex points for travel. And of course, we talk about this all the time here on this channel, but for all those points you earn on this card from the signup bonus and from the spending multipliers, what you wanna do is save up those points and then find ways to transfer those points out to one of the many airline and hotel programs to get more value. And basically American Express gives us a ton of ways to redeem points like cash them out, redeeming for gift cards, redeeming for Amazon purchases, and even redeeming through the Amex travel portal. But honestly, those are all traps that pretty much devalue those hard earned points. So if we had 100,000 points, those redemption options could give us anywhere from $600 to $1,000 of value. But if we're smart about it, then we can find ways to turn the same 100,000 points into things like hotels or flights by transferring our points instead. So 100,000 points could become worth maybe $2,000 to $3,000 or even much, much more. And that all depends on how we use those. So I made a full guide on how to redeem Amex points for max value that I'm going to link to on the screen over here right now, because I know this stuff gets confusing and I wanted to explain everything in a detailed but easy to understand way. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.